All right, guys, so this is going to be the Special System Test 40. Yep, we are finally at System Test number 40, and I have two guests today, and they would be... This is Wheel of Geek. Oh, we have Squeak and... And it's Wheel of Geek. Yep. And this is not a requested system test. This is a system test, but why do I have my computer out is for this reason. So, Evan Bart 410 requested a system test that is exactly like the system that you are going to see right now. So, Evan Bart 410, if you're watching this, I kind of already done your requested system test, even though this is not necessarily a requested system test, but just want to let you know on that. So, Let's begin the test. So for device number one, we have something brand new. I have my EST270GAO. This is the same pole station you saw in the unboxing video I did, and this came from CJ9899 from that fire alarm tray that we did. Then I have my other two set my 270SPO, that is, the one that's pretty worn down and the spring is relatively loose and the sides. Fun fact, this 270SPO is actually the oldest one I have besides this, besides the other two. This one was actually made in 1998, which is a pretty fun fact, but yeah, 270SPO. And then finally we got my GE labeled 270GAO. Yep. So for the first time we have a all EST pull station set up, and we have our ESD panel with a fire, fire shield FS 1004 and we'll see there are troubles on NAC 2, 3, and 4 which I will get into and hey there's still well there's a trouble on that on zone 4 which has been there but I will come into that in a moment so our first notification device we have the Genesis the HV15 G1R HP15 yep this is the one that is actually pretty rare, the rare Genesis on the G1RT FIRE trim plate. Then right next to that, I've got my ESD202-7A-T? No, dash 110. And I don't have one, I have two. Yep, they are ceiling mount version integrity strobes. And they are also pretty rare from what I remember, so and they're on trim plates since they're single gang and the smoke detector has returned yep I figured out the problem and you see it is flashing so there's no more false alarms thankfully and yeah so for the first time ever I have an all EST setup besides the smoke alarm of course but this is the first ever test I'm doing all EST so um, that's my computer monitor but we are going to start the test now. So let me turn up the fan and hearing protection. And of course, I will do the iPhone. There we go. All right. So um, let me turn on the iPhone. And give me a moment. OK. In three, two, one. All right, so guys, what do you? Which pole station do you think I should pull today? Uh, get a GE one. Okay, we're gonna start with the GE relabeled 270GAO. Good choice. So, you guys ready? Yeah. All right. So, get my. Let's use the 
panel. And what the heck, I'll open it up. So here you go. Three, two, one. And we will see I have audible silence and I should have mentioned this in the beginning but if you have strobe epilepsy I highly recommend you do not watch this test at all because they we got this big seizure strobe effect right here with all three strobes flashing at once so yeah and the the high-pitched humming is coming from both of those strobes because they have um, high pitch capacitors. So let's pull this 270. And this 270. And then finally we're going to do the smoke. There you go. Now all four, four zones have been activated. And for being very small in size for the Genesis, it is quite loud. So, now i got to reset the pull stations. So let's start with this one. I will say is I don't want to say about the Genesis is that they're rather annoying in my uh, honest opinion, they're rather annoying. Yeah. I do agree. They are they are rather annoying. Especially the nowadays Genesis that has that much higher pitch sound, so in the you mean the E G one Genesis? Yeah, I think they're I think they have the model number the H V D M I believe is D M, not N. There's like the G1 HDVM, which. Okay. Yeah. And I need to set this iPhone down, so. Because this is pretty hard to reset, so. <sighs> One day, I'm going to get a Genesis set up where I will put them all on Genesis Sync, and they might all sync up on each other, which is going to be nice. Of course, I only have one Genesis, and those are integrity strobes, so... Those integrity strobes predate the Genesis. As a matter of fact, both of those Genesis, I mean... Um, both of those integrities, the first integrity... There's a 1994 dated integrity, and then there's a 1995 dated integrity. So those are the first generation integrities, so... Yeah. And rare. Yeah, apparently they're quite rare, so... Um, there you go. And I'm going to turn off the... So since the Genesis can't do continuous, I have one more thing I want to do before I end this system test completely. And that is do the drill button. And, alright. So... Take the smoke alarm. Wait, I'm sorry? Take the smoke alarm. I already did the smoke alarm. Fail. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to do the drill button and then we will end it there. So, here we go. Are you guys ready? Very good. Yeah. All right. Here you go. In three, two, one. So. 
And that um, high-pitched sound you heard right there was this smoke alarm right here. Can I say something? Yeah. yeah. That was annoying. No kidding. So, just so people are aware, um, I actually recently started up my channel, so... Yeah. If you haven't... I actually started collecting back in 2012, but, yeah. Nice. Yeah, by the way, I actually did check out your, um, uh, channel, and looks good so far, so... Actually, I will leave a link in the description below. Go ahead and check out Wheelock Geek. I highly recommend it. So, just so people are aware, I'm not going to be uploading any tests until I get a panel, which I don't have one yet. Yeah, that's a good idea. I still have yet to construct my new alarm board. Yeah. Well, best of luck on that, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. So, well, that's the end of System Test 40. Pretty short but some of you guys might like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Big thank you to, um, if it wasn't for um, um, CJ9899, I wouldn't even have these new alarms, which would be this one, this one, and those two integrities. And yeah, so. so also, we're not responsible for anyone with deaf in the system test. Exactly. And like I mentioned, if you had strobe epilepsy, hey, I warned you. <laughs> All right, so. We are not responsible if anyone tampers with safety equipment. Exactly. And most of you guys should know why. Because it's a big no-no. So, like I said, that is the end of System Test 40 with Squeak and... Good luck, Geek. Yep. Alright guys, so next System Test will be a requested one. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.